Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to send an FBM order to a customer when selling on Amazon. When selling products FBM, you will package and ship the product to the customer yourself versus FBA where you're going to be sending it to Amazon who then ships it to the customer. So first thing you want to do is sign into Amazon Seller Central. Once you've signed in, the first thing you're going to want to do is check to see if you have any FBM orders to fulfill. You can click the three lines on the top left of the page, go to orders, and then click manage orders. Now it should default to your FBM orders. If not on the right hand side here, it should be able to say view seller fulfilled orders. So if I click my FBA orders, you'll see that if it defaults to your FBA orders, all you have to do is just click this blue hyperlink to view seller fulfilled orders. And it's gonna bring you to all your FBM orders that you need to fulfill. Now, if you have expedited shipping services available here, it's gonna tell you what type of shipping the customer bought. So for this case, we can see right here, it says standard shipping. So we know this is an expedited service. You can also view when you need to ship this by. So here we see that we can ship it by June 9th to June 12th. So we have until tomorrow to ship this product out. This also tells you how many units the person bought. So we know that the quantity was one. So now Amazon gives you a few options on the right-hand side here. Buy shipping, confirm shipment, print packing slip and cancel order. I'm going to skip over the buy shipping section for now because we're going to be coming back to that in just a moment. So for a confirmed shipment, this is when you purchase your shipping from either your own UPS account or a third party service like pirateship.com. Amazon will have you input the tracking information for the customer to view. Now, if you go to print packing slip, this is when you can print a slip that tells the customer their order number, the product they have purchased from you, and you put it within the package that you're sending to the customer. I have not once printed this out since I started this in 2021, but if a customer were to request for one, I would go ahead and just print one out. But for me, it's really just a waste of time and paper in my opinion. Now for cancel order, this is when something goes wrong and you can't fulfill this order. Maybe you miscounted your inventory or the product is expired. Whatever the reason is, this is how you would cancel the order. Only do this if you have to as it affects your order defect rate for your FBM orders. So if you don't ship out a lot of FBM orders and you have to cancel one, it's gonna hurt you. Uh, so try not to ever have to cancel an order. So now we're gonna go ahead and select buy shipping as we're gonna be purchasing our shipping label directly through Amazon. Now this page is gonna have all the information you need for this order. So here again, we can see that we have the ship by date. We have the delivery date. So if this was an expedited service, you wanna make sure that it's gonna get within the delivery window. And then their purchase date, it's telling you the shipping service is standard. Again, this would show you if it was an expedited service, it gives you the customer's information here. Uh, never contact the buyer, always contact them through Amazon. Don't ever try to call them yourself. Here we're gonna see the product itself that we are selling, how many quantity um, we're gonna be sending to them. Now you see on the bottom, it already has the dimensions and weight for this product listed for me. This is because once you ship an item once, Amazon saves that information for you. And I've already sold this once before. So it already keeps track of everything for me. If this is your first time shipping the item, what you're gonna to need to do is go out, package this item up, measure the dimensions by length, width, and height, and then weigh the box on your shipping scale. Then you're gonna come back here and you're gonna input all that information into this section packaging and the weight. Once you do this, Amazon will automatically give you the best shipping rate for this product. Here we can see that our cheapest option is UPS Ground for $11.12. You can also select the See All Option button. This is going to show you all the rates and the carriers that Amazon provides to you. I usually click into this when the order has an expedited service as I need a faster shipping option. So you click this and it's going to tell you all of the different options from lowest price to the most expensive. Now, if this was an expensive item, for me, that's really anything over $200, you can add a confirmation to this order. You could choose from signature confirmation, no confirmation, or an adult confirmation. Adult confirmation is going to be someone who's an adult has to sign for it versus signature, anybody can sign for it. Now, note that this does raise the price of your shipping label by around $6. You can see that it's $11 right now. If I hit signature confirmation, it goes to $16. If I hit adult it goes to 17. So just keep that in mind that you're paying extra money for there to be a signature on the product. So from here, we're going to go ahead and hit no confirmation. You can also declare the value of the package if you would like. This also costs extra money, but I have only used this feature a handful of times and it was in the beginning when I didn't even realize I was being charged extra for it. So in my opinion, it's not really worth the extra money you spend to declare, you know, if you declare $200, it's going to up your price. So I don't ever use the declared value. Once you have confirmed everything has been entered in correctly, you can click the yellow box labeled buy shipping. 
Once you select buy shipping, a shipping label will be generated for this order and you will print the label out using either a thermal printer or a standard printer. Then take that label and put it on your package and either schedule a pickup or drop it off at the carrier of your choice. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video.